Hello and welcome to Reality TV Cringe. I am one of your hosts, Delia, here with my real tight homegirl and my daughter-in-law, Bia. Bia. <laughs> That's Gwen's girlfriend's or uh, wife's yeah. name is Bia. I always thought it was B. I'm actually Bia. Are you Bia? Yeah. Tonight you'll be Bia. Yeah. But welcome. We're so excited Hi. to be here and we're going to be talking Sister Wives. Girl. Season 19. Mm-hmm. How the mighty have fallen and ain't that the truth facts yes i was infuriated during the entire episode i had to check my blood pressure i was worried about a cardiac event i was in i was uncomfortable i was disturbed i'm like does this man have a brain sickness yeah is his brain rotting yes does he have a serious tbi (laughs) is he being animated by the devil are we seeing (laughs) demon possession i kind of feel like we've got a walk-in situation like aliens have walked into his body or else he's fucking possessed i mean (laughs) he's fucking wacko dude he is crazy so angry i'm betrayed they colluded against me (laughs) i'm so angry i He's insane. We're going to get into it. Before we do, we have to issue you a disclaimer. First and foremost, hide your wife and hide your kids. This is a politically incorrect podcast. We say bad words Mm -hmm. and we have stupid opinions and we're unapologetic. Yeah. So if you're a sad, sad, you might want to find yourself another dumpster, baby. But if you're down to party and like just be in a froth and a rage over (laughs) Cody Brown, welcome to this dumpster and if you are down to party with us be sure to follow us on instagram at reality tv cringe and join us on patreon patreon.com slash reality tv cringe that's where the real party is at and if you are watching on youtube first and foremost hi yeah. everybody you look wonderful You're today gorgeous. please do not forget to like and comment and share and subscribe Please because subscribe. everything you do truly helps us in the algorithm like maybe they could comment even if you don't know what to say because how could you counter our opinions right. they're so <laughs> intellectual <laughs> but i mean if you have nothing to say you could maybe drop like a raccoon emoji yeah or like a little heart or something i would love it, it would make me feel That'd good be great so thank you in advance thank you sorry about my voice I'm losing it. It's because my husband has a man cold. Yeah. And he's been coughing around my house for like one week. And I'm just like, cover your mouth, you hog. (laughs) But he didn't. So now I think I'm getting sick. So I apologize for that. Yeah. Okay. So before we get into the episode, there are three things I want to discuss. First and foremost, I would like to apologize for me messing up the timeline last week. Oh, yeah. Because I was thinking we were looking at footage that happened before Janelle and Cody's fight. I mean, I'm in a whirlwind <laughs> with these editors. I don't know so where much. I am. Yeah. I'm wondering what's going on. So I do apologize. Apparently, I was off by a year. Yeah. But I mean, how can you be blamed for that when the editors were so shitty? And we're watching footage from two years ago, but the couch interviews are probably from 20. 20- 23 or something a few months ago like what's going on i don't know so i'm getting confused me too so i do apologize for that and i acknowledge that and i'll try to do better but i probably won't (laughs) probably won't yeah the next thing i want to talk about is bitch Bitch. i was up on the gram Uh and i saw without a crystal ball who is a content creator on YouTube and also Instagram. And listen, do not come for us. We know she's controversial. We know. But she also often is correct and she deals in facts sometimes. Yeah. Anyway, so she made a post about Cody Brown and Robin Brown taking their house off the market. Yes. And of course, we heard about this a couple of days ago and mm-hmm. everybody was wondering, why, why they do that? Who bought it? What's yeah. going on? Well... Without a crystal ball has given us the tea. And so let me just read her post. Okay. Cody and Robin Brown have been forced to stop the sale of their home in Arizona following a lawsuit filed against Cody in Utah by Christine motherfucking Woolley. On August 30th, 2024, Cody and Robin Brown unexpectedly listed their Arizona home for sale. The move startled fans and even family members. Then, 
On September 16th, 2024, Christine Brown Woolley filed a lawsuit against Cody Brown for paternity, child support, back child support, and child custody. Her lawyers sought a restraining order via a domestic relations injunction to prevent both parties from engaging in specific behaviors, activities, and financial matters. The injunction specifically states that neither party is allowed to conceal or sell assets. Quote, if the petition involves the division of property, personal property, or debts, the parties must not transfer, encumber, conceal, or dispose of your property or the other party's property unless A, you have the written consent of the other party, or B, you have a court order, except in the usual course of business or to provide for the necessities of life, end quote. So, Christine is suing Cody for four years of child support, and this debt is due to her upon the establishment of paternity and the child support order for their daughter, Truly. As a result, Cody is barred from selling his home without written permission from Christine or a written court order. Oh, my God. Cody has yet to be served in this case. I'm wondering if he is evading service i don't know but he is more than likely aware of the case against him thus he cannot sell the home until the lawsuit is resolved my Bitch. suspicion has always been that cody was attempting to offload assets ahead of this lawsuit yeah the fact that christine filed suit within weeks of the listing of cody's home further proves this claim cody is known to conceal and hide assets from his ex-wives as a means to defraud them if christine wins her case she can file a lien against cody's home <gasps> until he pays off the child support debt things are just starting to get spicy a full video is coming soon from oh, katie joy and G. Oh, that is some queen and the angels shit. on collab <laughs> are singing oh, and all the mormon oh. prophets and ancestors Oh my God. In all of their garments <laughs> are dancing. And I am so happy to hear this. This is so good. What do you think? Oh, I think it's fucking fabulous. I think it's so great. It's so well deserved. If it's four years of back child support and it's based on Cody's income, I mean, that's a lot of money, girl. Well, yes. That's a lot I'm of money. I'm wondering. So, like, with my child, yeah. I had one child. Mm -hmm. I was married to a man of somewhat means. Yeah. But I got, like, $6,000 a month. Yeah, that's Plus a lot, parts girl. of his bonuses Dude. for one child. That is a so lot of So, I'm money. not sure. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not oh sure. God. I know. So I'm not, plus those bonuses, honey. I mean, so I'm not sure how much Cody was making in relation to how much Ma X Man made, but like I can see a world, for example, where he might be ordered to pay two thousand twenty five hundred dollars a month in child support. Oh yeah, at least. So two thousand times twelve is twenty four thousand mm -hmm. times right? four times yeah. four <laughs> is a hundred thousand. For yeah. past child support. Yeah. And then he's got to pay this same amount for Until the next she's six years. 18, I don't know 21. what actually. It could be 21. Yeah. yeah. Plus tuition. Yeah. Oh my So God. he snatched that house yep. off the MLS because he does not have Christine's permission to sell at this time. Mm. Nor does he have a court order because he is avoiding or evading service. Yeah. Well, I mean, if Robin and Cody are broke, like he's trying to get money so that they're going to be fine. But... Mm, Christine's not gonna let you, bitch. Mm -mm. Not gonna let you. I just hope this is the first of at least two or three more lawsuits. Oh my god! Uh, I need Janelle to come on in please. with some kind of an action or claim. I need Mary to worthy up for real. There's some you can pursue for, and it rhymes with schmiody uh -huh. pass. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> There's something you can do about that land, right? Yeah, for sure. Oh my god, I loved it. Oh my, I just, I'm just, I, I'm always trying to remote view into the McMansion to yeah. see what they're thinking when this news gets to them. Oh my god, they're so mad. They're this so is Cody mad. being like, "I'm betrayed again. She's betraying me. The knife and the kidneys again." Yep, he's so pissed. He but is. I love it. This is what you fucking deserve, dude. This is what you deserve. Come as a bitch. Shouldn't know better. Uh. <laughs> so good. So, 
I can't wait to watch it on the show in 2027. I know. I don't know if I'll can't still wait. be here. <laughs> You might have to be talking to me through a Ouija board on reality TV. We'll have TV a seance for, with yes, you. I will have commentary oh for Rum the Other Side. <laughs> I'll be dead, though. Stop Shit. it. Hopefully not. Knock on wood. Yeah, knock on wood. Oh, my You're God. crazy. Well, whatever. You're going to be old. Okay. Well, I'm already old. No. Older. Okay. The next thing I want to talk about is something that Madison Brush, who is, of course, Cody's daughter, yes. by Janelle, yes, yes. posted on Instagram. Now, this was after this most recent episode aired. Yeah. And so we think she's vague gramming. Definitely. And so she put up, I guess, an, a little graphic on her story. On her IG story. And yeah. I want to read it to everybody. It. Okay, so the graphic, which we'll post right here, says, Never refriend or refamily a person who tried to destroy your character your integrity, or your relationships with others. A snake only sheds its skin to be a bigger snake. If others fall victim and walk away from you because of that, let them. Sooner or later, the snake will bite them too. So do we think she was talking about Cody Brown? For sure. And maybe a little bit of Robin. Yeah. But that's interesting that he... I mean, she's like calling him out for destroying her character. Why? Because he's calling her a gossip? He's calling her a gossip and he's talking about how she moved to the other side of the country and took the grandbabies and how she scuttled her children away at Logan's wedding and how she treated him so badly. Oh, yeah. Well, I love to see it. Yeah, I'm glad she did. I want more of the family members to do this. Yes. They do, they're they all so fucking quiet all the time. They are. Like, even Mary, like, she's posting a lot of, like, upbeat, positive mm-hmm. stuff on her Instagram. She's like, I'm happy. I'm worthing up. And I'm like, can you I just, I don't care. Like, can you talk to the issues at hand? Please. Uh, That's so all annoying. I want. And I was thinking just today, I was like, it would be so cool if, like, the older kids got together and made a statement kind of like yes. the Plath kids did yes. when Olivia came out with their credit card thing with Kim Plath. Mm-hmm. Like just issue a statement across your Instagram about how you're feeling about what you're seeing. Because right. like we're just all pontificating, we're speculating. I mean, we can imagine what you're feeling, but yeah. we'd really like to know from you. And I also think it would be a kill shot to Cody. Oh my God, it would be so good. And everybody would be supportive of the kids too. Like if they're mm-hmm. like, my dad's a piece of shit. Everybody would be like, yes. And he wasn't around. And I never saw him during COVID. I mean, I think I saw him once in seven months. Yeah. Oh, my God. It would be so good. I don't know why they're not doing it. Maybe they will. Maybe they don't want to add more fuel to the fire. (sighs) It's awful, though. Every single week, Cody's going crazy. I I swear to God, he's got a mental illness. He won't shut up. I mean, and I don't like Robin. Yeah. And I'm not a Robin apologist. Yeah. But he keeps interrupting her. He mm-hmm. looks rabid. Oh, yeah. Something's wrong with that man. Well, people have commented on our YouTube and stuff and said, you know, Cody's abusive. And so Robin's probably experiencing a lot of that, which I can see a world where that's true. But then also Robin enables the fuck out of mm-hmm. him. And she's always like pumping his ego and just fanning the flame to everything. And it's mm-hmm. so annoying. Uh, yes, it is. And we'll get to their argument or their fight fight. yeah a little later on but why don't we pop on into the episode well this episode only had you know like four major things it was mckelty with her twins don't Uh care Mm -hmm. thanksgiving discussion (laughs) i'm snoring baby i'm snoring (laughs) for real the thanksgiving discussion and then christine talking about dating david as if we haven't seen her fucking wedding special (laughs) we kind of know what happens in the end yeah yeah and then we have cody and robin's big fight Okay, well, there were some interesting things with um, Thanksgiving. I thought there were some interesting things with McKelty, um, specifically Robin sleeping yeah. in the closet. Like Clayton's mom from 90 Day Fiance. That's right. And helping and being very present. And mm-hmm. then her car interview afterwards. Like, what were your thoughts about how Robin presented in that section? I thought it was genuine. Like, I thought she too. actually cares about the grandkids. I think she actually cares about McKelty. And so I think that that's a good thing but it is also kind of sad watching this knowing that they've had a falling out because robin opened her big fat mouth at and or didn't let her kids come to the funeral or memorial service or made it all about her or something happened at garrison's memorial service so like it's unfortunate watching this but i do think that robin came from a genuine place i think it was good that she was there Mm -hmm. helping mckelty i think that's awesome i thought she handled christine well too 
Yes, and I think Christine also handled Robin well. Mm -hmm. They were very mature. I mean, even though Christine does say to the camera, like, yeah, it's awkward. Like, is she my favorite person? No. No. But, like, this isn't about me. I'm here for McKelty, and I'm super grateful that Robin was there. I mean, I'm obviously paraphrasing. Um, I... (sighs) I don't know. I kind of just wondered, like, if this wasn't happening in the family, would Robin have gone? Mm. I'm not really sure. Like, if Robin didn't need to rehab her brand, (laughs) you know, or like her her presence on the show, Mm -hmm. would she have done this? I'm not sure. Mm. I can say, though, when she was in the car with that fabulous light on her face and her eyes are so pretty, she seemed like... She was authentic and sincere when she said that it was a really sweet moment and she was going to miss those babies. Yeah. Now, a few people were wondering out loud on the internet Mm -hmm. how long she actually spent with McKelty because it appears, and I'm not sure, it appears that it was like a few nights that she was there, like before the babies came and then after the babies came, I think she was there for a couple of nights, Mm -hmm. but like probably more than four nights. And then people are like, well, how come... Cody can't be gone from Ariella for longer than three nights, but Robin can leave and be gone for, somebody said three weeks. I don't think she was there that long. No. Um, But, you know, a few nights probably. How come it's okay for her to be gone, but not Cody? Mm, That's a good question. Makes me wonder if Cody just used Ariella as an excuse. Uh, Yeah. Like, well, but I mean, like not. Because of Robin. Like, I don't know if Robin told him to use Ariel as a, as an excuse. I wonder if Cody was just, like, telling everybody, yeah, no, I can't do it because Ariella. Like, just, you know, pawning it off on everybody else. Yeah, I can see that. You know? Yeah, I just, I was just like, that's a little odd. That is a little odd. But I don't know. Weird. Yes. And Weird. Then we the Weird. Th- <laughs> then we have the Thanksgiving discussion, mm-hmm. which was kind of interesting a little bit. I mean, Mary... And her sad ass, sick ass, staying at home alone. I feel bad for Mary. I felt really bad. She was supposed to go to California. Mm -hmm. So maybe she was going to go to Disney or whatever with some of her friends. Or maybe she would have seen Jen. I don't know. But she got sick. And so she ended up staying in Flagstaff by herself. Mm -hmm. Robin had invited her to come over. But as per Mary, she's like, I don't want to be the third will. Why would she? (laughs) And... Also, Cody stays blaming me yeah. for like not being able to be himself when I'm around at Thanksgiving because what he wants to be doing is dry humping Robin. <laughs> yeah, but he can't sure. do that because Robin is so sensitive. She's so compassionate. She doesn't want Mary to feel bad. Do we believe that? Do we believe no. Robin's actually mm-hmm. conscious um, of that? I Yeah, she's probably conscious to it. I, I don't know that she has an altruistic thought for Mary, though. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, I don't think she gives a shit, really. No. Yeah. So Mary ends up staying home, and Robin pretends, and I'm just yeah imagining she's pretending that she didn't know she was there. But even if she found out on Thanksgiving or shortly thereafter that Mary was in Flagstaff, like, why aren't you running her some food? Right. Why aren't you doing something to help Mary, I feel bad. I feel really bad. And I was also thinking like about Leon and stuff. I'm like, why aren't you with your mom? Mm -hmm. Why aren't you inviting your mom up to Colorado? Was that not talked about? Like, do you not want to be around your mom? Like, why is she alone? Always, forever alone. Why is she alone? Either in her rental on Flagstaff or her haunted B&B in Parowan. She's forever alone. I feel bad. I do too. And you know, Janelle mentions this because she's going down to las vegas because we have logan and michelle having purchased their first home and so they're going to be hosting thanksgiving which is wonderful but janelle's like i don't know what's happening with mary i don't think she's going to be with cody and robin but i hope she has somewhere to go and i'm like janelle get off your ass for real and invite her to vegas hunter likes mary i think logan likes mary he certainly invited mary to the wedding there are some kids that actually really like mary yeah and if she's going to be alone you've got 30 years of history with this woman and yes some of that sucked but like you have you have a lot of history with her like extend an olive branch be a good person janelle there must have been something that happened like off camera or some shit that was said or something to make 
all of the family basically hate Mary. Like, why is Mary so estranged but they from don't. everybody? Like, there's a lot of people who like Mary. But I mean, the wives don't. Christine and Janelle don't yeah, want no, anything to do with her. There's definitely things that went down with the wives. But, like, a lot of the kids still have relationships with Mary. So do she they? should have been invited to somebody's Thanksgiving. And, Christine, if you could have gotten over it for McKelty and been in Robin's presence, like, could you not have done that for Mary either? But, no, McKelty has no forgiveness. Yeah. No forgiveness whatsoever for mary but that's and neither does christine that's what i'm saying though is like it's weird if some of these adult kids have relationships with her but then nobody's inviting her to thanksgiving like i know she was sick so obviously she didn't go anywhere during thanksgiving she's like yeah this is just god on kolob telling me like mm-hmm. i should be home and it's fine but i'm just like this is sad yeah but maybe the kids i mean they're in the midst of a divorce maybe the kids don't really know about mary's divorce at this time because again mary's like i'm not talking to people about it right so maybe the 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 kids that like her don't necessarily know this and Mm. so they don't know to invite her i don't know but janelle knows yeah so christine knows i just yeah i just feel like it's it really sucks for mary and also there wasn't enough mary in this episode no like we see some like flashes of fire from her on the couch with her commentary like give us more of that Please, we uh, need a lot more of that where was she no we just have to spend the majority of the episode with cody and robin why? fighting in the snow why i don't know to get us to like them I mean, seriously, it felt like a PR thing. Oh, a hundred percent. It was ridiculous. But I'm just, I'm just sitting here thinking, like, are, do they get paid more if they're featured more in an episode? Because mm. I think with Real Housewives, it did come down to that. Like, it, it was based on how many scenes you actually filmed. That is what dictated how much they got in terms of pay oh. i don't know that they're doing that with the sister wives but maybe they are and i'm just like i don't need this i don't need them on my television no. i'm just waiting for the moment where you fire them for get real? rid of them and then i just want to read on um daily mail what yeah. happens <laughs> two years from now when they're bankrupt divorced and unhappy that's terrible <laughs> i don't want to wish ill on them but like i just that's the extent of my need for these people on my television. I mean, honestly, if Robin actually left him, though, I mean, that would be so good. I would love a spinoff with just the four wives. That would be so fucking awesome. Yeah, I'd watch that. I would totally watch that. Yeah, no Cody. Oh, my oh, God. No. If Robin left Cody, oh my God. he would be destroyed. Dude, he'd become a drunk. Oh, yeah. He's already becoming a drunk. Oh, my God. After getting the lawsuit paperwork. Girl. And having to pull his house down from the market. You know he was out at that Mexican restaurant, honey, (laughs) drinking shots of tequila. For sure. Yep. Um, Which I'm not going to celebrate that. But I'm just like, yeah. He's already probably a drunk. Yeah. But one thing I learned in that scene of this fake argument was like, Cody doesn't love anybody else but Robin. Mm -mm. He probably loves their kids together or whatever. But like she is the one person in his life that he's desperately in love with. Oh, yeah. Very toxic, though. So toxic. Like such a toxic attachment, codependency. It's wild. Let's just get to this argument. Okay. Because I don't give a shit about Christine talking about David. Yeah, His bald head and his beautiful Yeah, I get it. That's great. Mm -hmm. Happy for you. You're married already. But... Cody and Robin allegedly had a fight off camera. Cody drove away to uh-huh. get some space and then he comes back. Why weren't the cameras there? Mm. Why weren't the mm. cameras there though? Like when Janelle fights with Cody at Christmas, the cameras are there. Yeah. So, but the cameras are never there with Cody and Robin. We never see any of this type of drama for them. And no. So he comes back, Mm -hmm. and so she rushes outside so we don't get to go in the house again. Why? She rushes outside to talk to him before he gets in the house because they left it in sort of a bad place. Sure. Mm -hmm. And so then she goes and stands on the mark on the concrete driveway that has been shoveled so that they can film. Yeah. And we're supposed to believe this is a spontaneous moment between these people. Yes, because TLC thinks we're all stupid. Yeah. Yeah. So we believe we're pretending like this is a spontaneous fight that they're actually mad at each other and robin's talking about how cody needs to make more effort with his kids she's really putting pressure on him to make the effort and that's what caused the fight in the first place which made yeah. him have to leave because he got triggered right he got triggered god by forbid being, he gets having triggered. pressure oh because he's so mad apparently he's so mad at his kids because they've all betrayed him and he doesn't understand what he did wrong it's like all the same bullshit over and over and over again over and over 
and over again. Over and over again. And then Robin with her fake tears. I don't know. Let's let's drill down into this. Because okay. there were parts of this conversation, even though I believe deeply that it was rehearsed. Yeah. And they thought about it beforehand. There were parts of this conversation where I thought Robin was being real. And like Robin was accessing maybe some emotion about her bio dad, yeah, about her childhood that. or whatever mm -hmm. that was real, that she was trying to conjure up so she could have a seemingly real moment on the television. Yeah. Which wasn't real. But I, I mean, there were some parts of it that I actually felt a little bit for Robin. Yeah, me too. I mean, there were little parts like about the bio dad thing. I can see a world where she is actually upset at Cody for how he's handling and mishandling his relationships with his kids. Like I can see mm -hmm. where that would be a point of contention for them. But the thing that frustrates me about it is that she's not acknowledging how she contributed to any of it right. and how she maybe fucked up a lot of her relationships with the kids and caused a lot of division. Like, okay, yeah, you might be sad or upset that he's not handling his relationships well. But like, what about you? Yeah. And also miss me with this whole like, I don't know what you could have done wrong. Like they're upset because of the divorce, blah, blah, blah. As if you didn't have Cody 99% of the fucking time. Right. So like, continuing to lie. Like, yeah. In some moments, she seems to be pushing him toward the best thing. And then mm -hmm. in other moments, she's pulling him back into the delusion that he's currently operating under. And honestly, I do wonder if he's mentally ill. <laughs> I do wonder if he's on like high doses of steroids or human growth hormone or testosterone or something. Like he's just wiggity whack facts and so she's pulling him back into his delusion when she says like yeah the when he's like what could they possibly think that i did wrong and she's like well it maybe could be the whole covid thing because they thought that you know you made the rules so you didn't have to visit them which is ridiculous no it's not ridiculous yeah it's literally not ridiculous what happened because gabe and garrison said that he didn't come by for like seven months so not ridiculous and yeah covid was scary i get it yeah i get you were scared robin but did you get vaccinated though mm. Did we see you at the mall, though? Yeah. Like, you were still out and about. You still had nannies coming in and out of mm -hmm. your house that lived elsewhere and were doing other shit like grocery shopping. So, fuck off. Right. You absolutely facilitated that. Yep. And it's not ridiculous. The kids have valid points. And here's, here's the thing. Why is he so mad at them? He keeps using the word betrayal. Right. Uh, as well as like collusion like they're all meeting on zoom to talk about him and yeah plot against him like that's not happening cody you're right. fucking crazy yeah but like, collusion and um betrayal but like how how did they betray you like the only thing i can see that they have done that might have escalated the situation is they got really mad at you yeah for the shit that you did yeah and he even admits on the couch he's like yeah i should not have told my boys that they needed to get the fuck out at a certain age that was a power trip mm -hmm. and oh yeah by the way i probably should have gone to isabel's surgery that like was a bomb in the family and that made a lot of people mad and it was hunter yep because hunter actually went for her surgery right and hunter on many occasions has stepped in and played the father role for a lot True. of these kids. So he mm -hmm. was there. So it's like you can admit to those two things yeah. that you did wrong, but what about all the other shit? What about saying that you never loved any of their moms? Right. What about calling your kids assholes and narcissists on national television? Yeah. Like what about not ever seeing them and not being mm -hmm. at the home and not being present in their lives? Like how about we take it a step further? Mm -hmm. And that's where like he is actually crazy because he thinks that they're betraying him because he doesn't think he's done anything wrong. Like he doesn't think he deserves anybody being mad at him because he's like, well, what did I do wrong though? Like you're admitting to these two faults, but then in this scene with Robin saying, what do they think I did? I don't know what I did. I mean, and even if we take him at his word that he was visiting all the wives equally, like <sighs> let's say we believe that, just the two things that you mentioned are enough. Yeah, for like real, yeah. asking Janelle to kick your kids out during COVID, during right. the pandemic, because they were too old to live with her and, and forcing her hand was so shitty. Yeah. But like the shittiest thing you have ever did as a human being on planet Earth is not be there for Isabel. And right. then like 
talk to her like before she even left like are you going to come back and be one of those bitter wives yeah. because your daddy wasn't there for you like the most shitty thing you've ever done in your life is that yep just that alone would warrant these other kids who love Isabel to step up and say dad you're a fucking piece of trash right for not being there for Isabel what the fuck are you doing and also not contributing to the price of her surgery not being there when they returned to Arizona he yeah. wasn't around he wasn't helping Christine was doing all that shit by herself just that alone is enough to be mad and you're mad that they're mad that's what a narcissist does yeah like they do some bullshit they play in your face yep you have a regular normative reaction to that and then they're now they're pissed off because you're reacting to them yeah and then even when Robin is like fake pleading to him and being like you should reach out to them you should be camping out on their doorstep you should be trying to message them even if they reject you because then maybe one day they'll come back to you he's like no they should have to come to me when I'm doing better and then maybe we can have a conversation so it's like it's still everybody has to come back to mm -hmm. you like you mm -hmm. don't have to make any of the effort like when he was talking about Madison and calling her a gossip yet again, like constantly calling her a gossip, which I'm just right. like, what is she, what the fuck is she gossiping about? She's just talking about how you're an asshole. Yeah. She's, that's the truth. She's talking with her family members about how crazy you've become. Yeah. It's fucking worrying. It's wild. Yes. And then when you're making some dumb excuse on TV about why you haven't seen her kids at all. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, she moved across the country. How could she expect a grandparent to be present in the grandkids' lives? That's just not realistic. I don't know. Realistic. Janelle is. Christine is. Mm -hmm. Janelle's traveling over there to see her grandbaby. It's been three and a half years yep. as of that point in filming, and you haven't seen Evie. Ugh. Do you even God. call? Do you FaceTime? What are you doing to maintain that relationship? And another thing that he said that was so crazy to me, Beatrice, was like, well, when I'm feeling better, like when I'm done lamenting what has been done to me, then I will reach out selectively to the kids who are open to me. Yeah. Like the ones that have active wounds, though, like Garrison at the time, like mm -hmm. Madison, like Hunter, the ones that have actual they're harboring offenses against me. I'm not going to talk to them. Yeah, but like maybe them. Gabe because he's a little empath and he's a little sweet pea. Maybe Savannah. Maybe Savannah's still open to me. Remember Savannah? Mm -hmm. That daughter that you didn't see for Christmas? Mm -hmm. But it's it's on his timeline when yep. he's feeling okay. Like he doesn't have the bandwidth right now to help his children heal from the wounds that he inflicted. Oh, it's God. It's maddening. It's crazy making. It's so infuriating, too, because I'm like, you created this huge ass fucking family. Like, that means that you're yeah. responsible for yeah. all of these lives that you created. Sorry, it's like, hard. Seriously, like, fuck the wives. Like, if you want to neglect them, fine, whatever. But you're responsible for these fucking kids, dude. Like, you created all of them and you destroyed all their relationships with them. And now you're going to be like, oh, it's too much. Yeah. It's not safe for me. He starts crying. Oh my God. Yeah, right. Over the betrayal and the anger because he's so angry. I'm like, oh m my God. Cry me a river. I, it was just, it was wild. I know I say that a lot, but it was like, it's literally wild. And also it's the same. Like yeah. I feel like we spent all of season 18 with him saying the same shit. Oh yeah. And back to why he thinks his kids betrayed him. Listen, Cody, just by getting up on camera in front of the entire nation and telling us that you never loved these women, how do you think that sounds to your kids? Right. What do you think they feel knowing, oh, my dad never loved my mom? What does that say about me mm -hmm. and my life and how I was conceived? I mean, wouldn't that make a child feel invalid in certain emotional ways? Oh, yeah, it would but, make their whole life feel like it was a lie. And even if it were true, which is not true, you loved those women and yep. you had a million children with them. Yep. Even if it were true, I mean, wouldn't you as a parent know not to say that out loud? No, right. Keep your inside thoughts inside your head, dummy. I mean, seriously. Like when my parents got divorced, my mom kept all of our her wedding photos. And I was like, why did you keep them, mom? Like, don't you hate dad now? And she's like, well, no. Like, I did love him, but this was also your guys' childhood. This was your life. Mm -hmm. Like, you saw us together. These are important. I'm going to keep these for you guys if you want them in the future. And I always, like, respected her for that. Yes. And now as an adult, I'm like, oh, I'm glad that she kept these because these are special in some kind of way because these were my parents. But no, Cody, just 
talking so much mad just shit. Just trashes these women. I mean, calling Christine disgusting, calling Mary boring. I don't not know, fun. Not fun. I'm not curious. Janelle only wants me because I'm hot. Mm-hmm. Like, all of this stupid bullshit. And then you wonder why your your kids hate you. Yeah. It's wild. It is. It is insane. It is. In, we are watching insanity unfold before yep. us. And there were moments when I felt like Robin really was trying to get through to him. Mm-hmm. And he kept cutting her off and she wasn't able to finish a sentence. And I think she was trying to reel him in, but he's unreelable. Yeah. He cannot. He's not tethered to this reality. He's somewhere else in some hellish hellscape dimension living in this fucking nightmare in his mind yeah and it doesn't have to be that way this way he could actually just call his kids he could call hunter and he could say listen i know we have things between us and i want to sit down with you and i want to talk about it there are some things that i need to say and definitely need to own but until we can do that hunter please know i love you exactly i love you so much it's as easy as that it's easy period Call Maddie and tell her that. Or right. leave it in a vo- voicemail if she doesn't pick up. Or talk to Caleb too. Like, just do the bare fucking minimum. Yep. And I think Robin was asking him to do that. Yeah. But he's like, no, I mean, I'm just lamenting still. <laughs> I'm still in my my sad place. I'm still in my pain body. And I'm not willing to give it up yet. Well, and then he has the gall to be like, but I want to fix us first. Yeah. I want to focus on you and yeah. me. And she like melts at that. It's so weird. Thank She's you like, for oh, saying you? that. Oh. Thank you so much for saying that. So that's where I'm like, mm-hmm. Robin, fuck you. Yeah. Because you enable him so much. Mm-hmm. Like I could believe a world where she is upset at him for how he's handling this. And she is trying to get him to be better. But then you go right back into it. Yeah. When he says something like, but I love you. Ugh. I want to work on our marriage. Ugh. Yeah. Like, I mean, you guys aren't suffering. No. Maybe financially, but not. In this filming, probably. No, I mean, I think maybe it's the holidays. I think Robin loves the holidays. She's probably feeling the loss of the entire family. She's probably in her feelings to some degree. But it's just, uh, it's so disturbing to hear him say, looking at the landscape of his life and how his family has absolutely exploded. And so many people are hurting for him to say, yeah, but I'd rather focus on me and you because you and I aren't doing well because of all this stuff that has happened. I want to work on us. I'm like, oh my God. And Robin, if you truly love him, help him to be a better father. Right. Guide him in the way that he should go. Just like you want him to guide you in the way that you should go. And I think she wants us to believe that that's what she's doing right now. Yeah. But it's a little too little and it's a little too late. And plus, I don't believe it. I think this is PR. Yep. This is her trying to give the illusion that um, she's with everybody else and she's recognizing all the issues and they're all Cody's problem Mm because I haven't done anything wrong. I would never do that. Right. I would never let him stay here and not go to another wife's home. Yeah, right. Which she said last week. Uh Uh-huh. But you did. You did. A lot. But you did. Mm Mm-hmm. I just like, is this this what the show is? Are we just having people lie? Yeah. Constantly lie and then fake boring shit? Yeah. can't we have a conversation that's real? No. That's what the pods are doing. <laughs> I know. The pods are having the conversations that yep. these blowhards and assholes won't have. Yeah, it's so wild. And like with Sister Wives, like you guys have been on sh- TV for fucking almost 20 seasons now. It's been insane, like how much we've seen into your guys' lives. So I don't know why they have to like skirt around things mm-hmm. or they don't want personal things to be on TV. I'm like, what are you fucking talking about? Your whole life is on TV. Yeah. That's how everybody knows you. Yeah. And I'm sure there's things that we don't see behind the scenes. And so maybe but we, we don't suss have to it fall. out. Yeah. And we're probably and right. We're usually right. Yeah, mm-hmm. exactly. It's so just, just tell the truth. Yeah. And like the thing with Robin, I was talking with Ethel about this and we were having a discussion because she was feeling for Robin too. And I'm like, yeah, I could feel for her in some aspects of the conversation, but it's hard for me to like full on believe Robin or think that she has some good in her because she's married to Cody fucking Brown. And if you're married to somebody like this, I mean, and you're enabling him on TV, like Mm -hmm. we see this happening in real time, you're a piece of shit too. Yeah. And you're looking at 2022 and we're in 2024 and she's still with him. Exactly. And we have suffered the loss of Garrison. Yep. And she's still with him. Yep. Like why? Yeah. If she left him, then I'd be like, okay, I can feel for Robin. Maybe she was manipulated this whole entire time. Maybe she's dumb as fuck. Mm -hmm. I don't know. But no, she's still with him. I mean, 
next week we see a preview where yeah. she's in the bathroom and she's crying, crying and she's like the only thing i have left is prayers and i'm like okay, okay well I, i'll watch it and hear what you have to, <laughs> to say but like there are it. other things that you could yeah. actually be doing because yeah. there are relationships that you robin you have broken separate and apart from cody we hear gabe also in the preview saying you know robin is committed to being a victim at yeah. all times and i don't see a future where we're going to be able to you know have a connection based robin that's on you mm-hmm. so why aren't you camping yourself out on doorsteps why aren't you making phone calls why aren't you trying to make amends you're only doing this for the camera exactly even though she's telling the cameras like if i was cody if i was in his position i would be camping out on the doorsteps oh okay would you why aren't you Mm -hmm. you only care about your own kids right i thought i thought this was your family i thought you considered all of these kids to be your children then why are you not making the effort because she's so sensitive she wants to be respectful <laughs> now there was some conjecture on reddit about when this scene this argument was actually filmed oh, some yeah? people thought that this was actually filmed after the passing of garrison stop it yes after the passing of garrison in an attempt to rehab their image and people were like no because garrison passed in march or april and there was no heavy snowfall and then people like looked up the snowfall (gasps) in flagstaff bitch and there was snowfall but i personally do not think that this was filmed after the passing of garrison it would have had to been right after the passing of garrison you would have you would have to be so diabolical that's what I'm saying. yeah so diabolical and demon possessed to do something like that which i mean he kind of is i mean but i don't think i don't think he would do that as a father of someone who just lost his son that would be absolutely fucking horrid if that actually happened but i don't think it would be i mean he seemed genuinely reactive to the wedding and how some of the kids didn't want to talk to him and right. how madison scuttled her kids away like he seemed he was still triggered. in the energy of that mm-hmm. so it felt to me like it was connected to that but i mean some people are calling it out and oh saying no oh my god yeah well, I mean, it's hard because we're speculating about how they would all, how they all have reacted to Garrison's passing because mm-hmm. we don't get to see that yet. Right. And also, people are talking about how, the, based on the editing of the show, the episode so far, that they're like cropping Garrison out, or they're like yes. taking out footage where they maybe were talking about Garrison. Mm-hmm. Like they're do, they're really careful to like not mention him at all, and maybe that's because of the family. Maybe the family just didn't want to bring any of that up which is fine like i i get it uh, but i personally think that we should be mentioning garrison maybe not necessarily the enmity that he has with his mm-hmm. dad like that would be maybe problematic but like featuring garrison honoring garrison i feel like he should be a part of this season like yeah. when cody was talking about how he went on the ski trip and he called Gabe and he was talking about like the couple of kids that he has tried to reach out to. It felt like they edited out Garrison's name. Like he said, I tried to call Garrison and Gabe and they edited out Garrison's name. I'm like, why would you do that? I don't know. Maybe they're ashamed. Maybe Cody's ashamed. Maybe the family was like, please, let's just not have this vitriol be out the right way to do it. I agree. I wish they could just be honest about it. Mm -hmm. I wish we could fast forward and see maybe Cody react to it mm-hmm. and and maybe he'll i mean i this is wishful think, thinking but maybe he would have remorse well i think that we're actually seeing that because i think with him on the couch in the blue shirt i think those are filmed at two different times and in, in one of them like his face is actually a little heavier mm. than in the other or the earlier, I would say, mm-hmm. interstitials. But like in some of the interstitials on the couch, he's pissed off, he's betrayed. And then in others, he's like, I hope that the twins can heal the family. I'm hoping that at some point in the future, I can heal this with my kids. And right. That there's hope for us. Like, so it, there seems to have been a change of heart. And I wonder if some of this was filmed after the passing of Garrison. I personally think so. I would hope so, because that would be nice to have mm-hmm. a little bit of, like growth not growth but you know what i mean like yeah a little bit from of cody the arc and Robin. of like yes. where, where are you psychologically right because we've been worried about that mm-hmm. like is cody just gonna be a piece of fucking shit after garrison's passing he's like, gonna is, crystallize in his right. narcissism like is he gonna get worse or is he gonna maybe show some emotion some human elements to him i don't know but Imagine. it would be nice if we could just have that current day yeah i mean recording. i feel like a lot of us are still actively mourning garrison yeah and like i i don't understand the choice not to show him i really don't like it 
I don't either. It upsets me, but like I can also understand if the family was just like, we don't really yeah. have the space. It's not my decision to make. Like, we don't yeah. want to talk about it. Like I get it, but I don't like it. Okay, so back to my statement at the top about apologizing for timelines. Like in this episode alone, we switched timelines in terms of footage so much. Like when we see Janelle outside gardening her tomatoes, yeah, you know, and we're supposed to believe that she's in the same town where Cody and Robin are having an argument in the snow. Right, good point. And she's actually in the garden outside of the rental home, which was before the RV, before the dormitory apartment, before yeah. the new apartment. So they're using footage from that. And I was watching Nikki Haverstock, and she was saying that the Thanksgiving footage that they showed this year, right, or in this episode, uh-huh. was actually from the season last year, which used the footage from the season before that dude so we've got editors that are pulling footage that they think is from last year to recycle for this season but it's actually two seasons ago it's like wow tlc it's like that meme of that lady with the math equations yeah. just being huh? <laughs> where am i <laughs> what that's fuck? what i that's what i feel like that's why i i don't necessarily know where we are and like when these interstitials are taking either. place i think we can feel confident with mckelty that these are more recent because she's thinner yeah and we can right. feel confident that mary is also giving some interstitials that are more current because she's thinner right like it's hard to tell with christine because we've seen the same sound bites from her oh everybody yeah. talks about everybody in this over and band. over over and i think we saw that last last year yeah so i don't know girl. even when she was talking about dating david and stuff i'm like you're recording this as you're already married yeah so like right what the fuck is going on and talking about gwen and bia and yeah. do you hope that they get married they're already they're married already married it's already happened we're not stupid they think we are stupid. i know they do did we want to talk about what kids called cody yes. assholes yes. and everything yes. so cody said one kid called him brain or said that he was brainwashing them he was manipulative and that he brainwashed them yep and then another kid called him an asshole Uh uh-huh and then another kid called him a piece of trash right that was it right yes yeah so i think so who do we think said what okay so piece of trash i think when he said that it was proximate to him talking about hunter um dealing in contempt like being contemptful of him mm-hmm. contemptful contemptuous yeah of him so i think piece of trash was from hunter i could see that and from that one had of the to boys. do with isabel yeah mm-hmm. for sure i could see that what about manipulative brainwasher mm, i think probably leon or mm-hmm. gwendolyn mm. one of them I'm thinking Leon, too, because yeah. way back in the day, Leon was the most gung-ho sold out for polygamy yeah. and for the religion. Out of all the kids. Oh, yeah. One of the sister wife. Was everything. 100% sold. Yeah. Leon then goes off to college, and they have all their experiences, and looks back and is like, that was really fucked up. Yeah. And how we had to live our lives, and like... Looking at my mom and how isolated she's been, that's really fucked up. So I can see Leon calling totally. him manipulative for sure. Yeah. Which, I mean, he and is. And Gwendolyn too. Why Gwendolyn? Well, because same kind of thing. Like, I think, you know, Gwendolyn probably bought into a lot of it, and, like believed in polygamy and then got mm-hmm. out of it, went to college also, mm-hmm. you know, got married to a woman and everything. So she realized, okay, this is a bunch of baloney and you don't even believe it anymore exactly i mean so can you, you imagine us? like they were indoctrinated so deeply yeah and now all of a sudden yeah you don't believe anymore and yep. you're not a part of the faith anymore and you put me through that i yep. would be so mad oh for sure oh by the way i saw online that aurora and brianna are now going to an assembly of god church what yeah so they're not going to an lds church anymore they are now with assembly of gods and and they're actually featured on the website like the youth program i think aurora or brianna plays music for the the band the worship team of course assemblies of god they're pentecostal they're not mormons honey okay i was gonna say i'm like i don't know what no they're they're pen i i was in the when i was a missionary i was in the assemblies of god honey wow these are the ones that are speaking in tongues they're rolling around on the floor they're getting slain in the spirit very absolutely very charismatic (laughs) so that's 
an interesting switch up religiously for me. Wow, that is interesting. So Robin must know that. I'm wondering if Robin and or Cody also attend. Maybe that's their new faith. Maybe. That would be wild. Maybe, bitch. That would be crazy. Okay, and then who called Cody an asshole? Oh, God, it could be anybody. Yeah? Probably Madison. Probably, I was thinking Madison. Yeah. yeah. Totally, because I would say that. Yeah. I'd be like, you're an asshole, Dad. Yeah, but any of the kids would say that. I mean, Gabe could say that. Garrison could have sh- absolutely said Probably, that. Probably, yeah. But One of the boys, too. Maybe several of the kids said that. Payton. Yeah, well, that's true. Oh, we didn't mention that Payton actually went to Las Vegas to have Thanksgiving with Janelle yeah, and her, her fam. boys. That was sweet. I love that. Yeah, because he was the only boy in Christine's family, yes. so he kind of gravitated towards Janelle's boys. Which yeah. I love that. I love that's that as great. well. It is. And Janelle accepts him. Of course. One thing that I noticed was how Christine was talking about... I don't know if I don't think it was the preview so I don't know if it was in regards to Thanksgiving or what but she's like I consider Janelle's kids to be my kids yeah and I'm like what about Leon I know right Leon went to your wedding Leon seems so far removed from everybody and I'm like wouldn't you also include Leon in saying that do you not do it because of Mary I don't know I felt bad for Leon in that moment I know but maybe Leon wants it that way Maybe. maybe Leon is like, fuck all y'all. Please do not mention me. Peace out. Yeah, maybe. I'm not a part of this family. I would respect it. I mean, yeah. I get it. That's it, right? I think so. I mean, there's a preview. Do you want to yeah. get a preview? Christine's still dating David. Oh, my God. What? Oh, my God. Wow. A new date. Oh, my God. He's so amazing. His eyes his are, eyes so, are real. so beautiful. He's a real He's man. He's so hot. He's an actual man. Yeah, not a dude. Oh not a guy. He's a real man. Not a bro. Yeah. Not a surfer. <laughs> okay so stupid yeah. and then gabe saying robin plays the victim all the time to get her way facts and then janelle says her kids have a problem with her yes yeah janelle says that many of her kids have a problem with robin mm-hmm. which is true i mean yeah i have yeah. a problem with robin we all have a problem with robin <laughs> and then robin crying in her closet yeah and praying to god on kolob and Cody also saying that he's praying prayer is the only thing that can save them or something. I don't care. He's praying for him and Robin. Yeah, that's it. <clears throat> yeah, it's just that's the priority. And her sweet breakdancing pussy. Honey, yes, in them diesel jeans. Girl. You think she still has those? No. You think she still wears them from time I, to time? Well, when I they d- role play and I stuff doubt it. And she pegs them? Oh, God, I, I don't think so. No, <laughs> she doesn't yeah. have the riz anymore, girl. No, she doesn't. She does not. Well, is there anything else that we want to say to these beautiful raccoons before we get out of here, Beatrice? Well, if you love our podcast, I sure hope and plead that you go to your favorite podcast platform and leave us a glowing five star review really Ah. helps us grow the pod so more people can join the dumpster we really appreciate it thank you we will be back later this week to wrap up welcome to plathville season finale finally and also to continue our journey with mom talk which i am thoroughly enjoying that shit is lit so make sure to come back for that and until then please do not forget that we have nothing but love for you and Peace out. Bye. Gosh, my voice. Sorry. Yeah. (laughs)